Um, my name is Julia. I'm the Outreach and Development Coordinator and I work for the HER Centre. So um, the HER Centre is an organisation that works with women who've experienced domestic violence. Whenever we get a client, we support them from the moment they are reported to be, to be needing support. We find out what it is that they want and if they want to leave the partner or they want to stay. We also run other courses and events and activities. The events are mainly to highlight the um, domestic violence and any topics that are going on at the moment. So some of the events we run at the Hair Centre will include ESO classes, uh, we also have um, IT and then we have the women's group, we have a therapy group, we have confidence building as well. And so is there any uh, like particular topic? or try to have a conversation. To them it's a conversation, but to us it comes off as shouting or it can be aggression as well because they they might be naturally loud. So that is something they need to think of how they approach a woman, how they talk to her. Some lectures do some certain things to abuse women and they're not aware of it that they actually abusing the woman. Probably they've experienced such attitude from their parents before and they think it's normal to carry on. I think the men needs to be educated on how to treat the women and, and the woman needs to go to work. She still has to look after the kids, look after the men and at the same time they want you to look nice for them when you're not nice. Like maybe the woman is so much in love and the men are cheating as well. They're in another way, that's a form of abuse for the women as well. There's a lot going on though. So I really think we need to educate our young children, those of us that have boys especially, we need to talk to them and make sure they don't behave the same way the men are behaving right now. Mm -hmm. it's never My inspiration is just really, I, I just like getting up and knowing that, you know, okay, who, who, Whatever comes to me today, I'm, you know, I might not know where to go or anything, but I love the idea of the woman just being able to come to me and say, Julia, I need ABCD, and they're comfortable to come to me and they know that you know, when they come, I will, I will either help them, I'll go upstairs, ask my colleagues, say, this is happening, you know, what do I do with this one or stuff like that, and I'll get back to them with anything. To have that support, at that moment is you know is, is is very important because without it i think a lot of women would just you know just stay where they are but to know that you know what if i decide to leave i'll go there and they'll be able to hold my hand from the moment i walk through the door and they'll be able to talk to me about you know support me with my children support me with housing support me with you know my paperwork sometimes they don't have paperwork but knowing that I'll go and someone will be able to help me with this. It's, I, I think it's crucial in society, yeah.